All right, time to get into an expansion source book for Blue Rose. It's been quite a while since I actually did a video on the actual game for this, but it's time to get into the, this source book. So this actually gets into the, the actual city uh, of all this. The city, uh, pretty much the home city of Blue Rose. And as you can see here in the beginning, it gives like a whole map of the whole city and where like you pretty much spend most of the you can spend most of the adventures so this whole source book is uh, designed for this whole uh, city so as you can see in like the uh, table of contents it actually breaks it up into like the different uh, wards now we start off with like the history and then we get into the actual wards of the city so this whole first chapter that is like the like a I said the whole history, so we get the good old like a uh, phrase for the introduction, and then we actually get like a quite a quick introduction of like a, how this book is broken up and everything. So, which is a nice way of books of doing it, so that way you can kind of get a good way of like, oh hey, this is what's coming up and this is what's all about and everything. So, as you can see, like uh, we get the introduction continues, so it gives like a nice like a. T uh, table for the uh city sizes and everything so uh actually the population of breakdown for the all this and the population of it so gives the introduction on uh what to expect and of course it also gives like a uh, icons for like us to be able to differentiate like uh what's the different buildings and everything so that way like, okay, we can tell the difference between residences and uh, businesses and guild halls and everything. So, like, it gives us those icons to be able to easier identify between them. And so, like, um, we actually get into, like, uh, the economics and, like, uh, the different guilds and everything that uh, are in this in this city. So, the, this actually gets into, like, the, the whole depth of the actual, like, the background information for the city. So, like, you could just run adventures just in this city as well so uh, blue rose is a romantic fantasy so like it it's does you use a different system so i did do like a video on this like many months ago so this is like a, a, a source book that expands upon that so like uh, this is all about the the city so now like as we're flipping through we get like another picture of the actual city and like the the, the slight surroundings of, of it and so like uh, as you can see in the previous table like the population is relatively huge in the city so then we actually get into the actual chapter one of like the the history of the the city of aldous and so like uh, you can see it goes into like the the whole background of, like uh how we get got to, to the point so like um we see the fall of the old kingdom the empire of thorns the rise of uh Dulce, dark the shadow wars it pretty much goes through the whole backstory of the uh of not just the all this the city state but the whole uh, spectrum of like a blue rose the campaign set and or like the blue rose rpg itself so then we uh, you can see starting with chapter two we actually start getting into like the wards so you can see that we start off with the high ward it shows like a, a map of like a each section of the city and then like it gets into the uh different types of the uh, buildings and places that you're going to find in each specific location so as you can see it even goes further into like the locations and it like uh actually gives like a some like a description like uh views of like uh like you can see here the Baldwin blade so it gives us like a very good in-depth like uh introduction to the city so like it continues on like here with the as you can see this whole chap second chapter is devoted just to the high ward and gives us like uh npcs uh, in this too so that way like uh we can see pretty much people we run into as well plus the all the locations as well so to save time i'm going to be kind of flipping through this relatively quickly so you can see the house of a thousand ways so it gives us good visuals of locations in the north ward so each chapter is like a 
say again, is di a different part of the city. So you can, like, if you want to, like, run specific uh, can uh, adventures in each specific location. So now we get into, like, as you can see, the lake ward. And then, it like, just like the last chapter, it gets into all the uh, details of each uh, buildings, like the layouts and, like, the characters and the guilds. And gives you all the uh, pretty much in-depth background information you need for each section so this like uh, is a good source book to uh, build upon so like, it shouldn't uh, kind of flip uh, to the back and like uh, see if you can find like a uh, 40 bucks for like a, a source book isn't too bad so now you can see in this next chapter four the middle ward kind of like in the middle of the city and then like uh, it follows the same kind of concept as the previous chapters gives us locations and details on the locations the guilds and then like uh, people and like uh, ideas to be able to uh, run uh, run detailed and highly in-depth adventures in just the city alone so you don't necessarily have to uh, go out into the surrounding areas now that doesn't say you can't break out and do something else but like uh, the, this source book is all about the city itself so now we get into chapter five the lower ward and as you can see here the, the highlighted part of the city so and each uh I'll reiterate that each chapter is the same concept gives like a details on all the locations and like a background information it does give us like a visuals for some places and everything and so also like another part of the lower ward and as you can see, like uh, how in depth this book is with given information. So then chapter six is all the outer ward. So like uh, the, you could in a sense, uh, as this layout, use the surrounding area to kind of maybe you're dealing with like uh, maybe attacks from like outside kingdoms or whatever that, uh, that are part of the campaigns, uh, this whole uh, set, set. And so, and just like uh, other the other chapters, it gives like, um, visuals of some of the places so that way like, uh, you don't necessarily have to draw maps of every single place so it breaks down into like the other part of like the, the outer ward so the south outer ward as you see and continues giving us visuals of places as well so again like uh then in chapter seven you can see that it actually gets into like uh the surrounding area so we can see the actual city like where we just saw like all the different locations so now we start to see like the surrounding area so in case like your adventures start bringing you into like a outside the city so like you could run like a side quest or something so it gives you the locations as like a in a sense like location one you search for lo location one okay there we go so it gives you ideas of like a where the stuff is and like uh, all background information on those locations so you can deal with like npcs that are coming into the city for trade and like maybe merchants or like uh, bodyguards or those mercenaries quite are, are coming through uh, and the ideas and like uh, are pretty much limitless so just this chapter is just like the others that just the, in a sense describes the surrounding areas it actually doesn't get into the actual city so that's what the first three chapters were for and then we have like a another uh phrase that you can always pause to be able to read that and everything so i'm going to just kind of go quickly through this and then you can see now we actually with chapter eight start getting to the the people so we get like a the stats and so like uh we can see like uh pretty much like people of npc like uh, you can come across the different types like uh you can see merchant noble like a uh, scholar uh, scholar yeah. and gives them a nice good table of a uh, reference table to be able to use that so it also gives like uh, npcs that we can use as well so you don't necessarily have to like uh uh, come up with NPCs on your own. So these are pretty much like a, a, the high ranking in individuals, so like a, or people uh, of high note in the city and surrounding areas. So you get like a good sense of like the uh, the higher the higher elves of the society. And so like you can use that to kind of like a whatever your hearts are. You can have them kind of hire your characters, or you can run. Uh, to run an adventure or you can run across them in in the 
in the uh, scope of your, your, of your adventures as well. So a whole lint new of like uh, the pre-made uh, NPCs that are like uh, that you are most likely to find within the city and stuff. So that way, uh, as you can see, is uh, gives you in depth and get it, that way it gives you like a, much more information on being able to run campaigns in the uh, Blue Rose uh, gaming system. So. Now we actually get into like uh, options that you can do like um, for like the different uh, types of like uh, characters you can run like the you can see like the the, the rats the rye rats I'm probably mispronouncing that and so like uh gives you like a uh, backgrounds so like, like to be able to like uh, ha uh, hash out your characters even more and like uh, so it, in a sense this builds upon the blue rose uh, game. And uh, of course, being a source book, that's like a, what this is supposed to be. And so, as you can see, it actually uh, focuses in on just the city. So, here in, in this chapter, it actually gives for like a, uh, instead of calling them a dungeon master or a, a, a game master, as in like a D and D or Pathfinder, respectively, you're called a narrator. So, this chapter actually gives uh, the narrator's ideas to help like, uh, run, run in the adventures and the campaign that you're going to run so it gets even further into like uh, ideas like, like you can see like the politics the guilds the councils and like uh, different like uh, ideas you can use to uh, help run this uh, game more smoothly and of course like in here you can see like uh, this is an actual an adventure the case of the Ren and swine so kind of like uh, quickly flip through that and everything and of course you got your appendices in the back, which helps you reference stuff even quicker. So this is the uh, source book for uh, the Blue Rose game. And of course, the funny thing is I ended up uh, seeing this. And I picked this up thinking like, oh, hey, look, uh, this is a cool game and everything. F come to find out like uh, it was a source book. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to get the, the actual like, uh, game book itself. So I got this one first before realizing, oh, hey, it was a source book. So I'm like, it was like kind of like, oops, but hey, I actually found this and it was uh, actually like uh, something interesting. So this is the source book for the Blue Rose uh, gaming system. And so if like, uh, if you're looking for like an alternative to like a D and D or Pathfinder, you got the uh, the Blue Rose campaign set, and then this is the uh, source book for all this the city of the Blue Rose. So this is the main city of the uh, the whole. Yes, uh, the whole RPG. So this is like a focuses in on just the small part of that. So it, this is a source book, like I said, to the uh, Blue Rose RPG. So if you want to go back and double check that, that video, I mean, it's an older video, but this is a source book to that. So this is definitely like a, a good alternative to check out as well.